Well, oh, it's raining on and off still. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film for this end of the journey to Bergamo. Bergamo. So, we are here now, north of Lugano, in southern Switzerland, and we go to Bergamo. I'm gonna go rest there for at least five days. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain too much, I can film a little bit on the way. But, andiamo Italia, ragazzi. Well organized. Huh? It's gonna be the fifth consecutive uh, day cycling and I've noticed that uh, all the way to Bergamo is going up and down and in total it's uh, 1000 meters uh, climb uh, short climbs <laughs> it's very tired today and it's raining I have to pack everything under the tent which makes it much more complicated. Wow. <laughs> and that will show you the magic thing here in where I am. Mezzovico. I am in Mezzovico. And that's the magic thing. And that's, that's, uh, how do you call it? Basically, that's sacco ufficiale. That's a, a bag for the trash. And uh, that's very important here in Switzerland because here in Switzerland there is a tax for the trash and because of that it's the first time since I am in Switzerland that I'm able to throw my trash everywhere else they don't give you bag and all and there are no trash bins so it's extremely annoying because you don't know what you do with your trash because you can't throw it there are no there are no trash bins anywhere in the cities there are no trash bins uh, in in the in the accommodations in the campings it's like well, what the what the hell you can't get rid of your trash it's well that's swiss nonsense i mean they have a lot of things that make a lot of sense but <laughs> that doesn't make any sense you can't throw your trash in switzerland <laughs> but here in italian switzerland you they give you a bag nice Let's go, my friends. Let's go to Bergamo. Andiamo a Bergamo. Hoppla. Yeah, so fifth day and last day in Switzerland. Entering Lugano.
so first incident you see I've got my wheel outside of the well the mud guard is outside of the wheel very nice so basically I lost the left brake and uh, this screw it's supposed to be here and uh, this wire is supposed to go here and all the way to somewhere down here so I have to rebuild everything I don't know how it went it went off when I, I went on the on the sidewalk it's just like it just went off so hopefully I can rebuild the wheel the steering system on the left side and the brake and hopefully I can continue <laughs> I can make it to Bergamo. Eh? But if you see, you see this. This is bent, and it's it's holding the cable. And I don't know how it got bent, but I, I think well, I have to avoid sidewalks and, and things like that and try to get it fixed in, in Bergamo. Oh my God! But I'm still 100 kilometers from Bergamo. It looks like it's working, but it's strange. The bike doesn't want to go backwards. So it looks it's working, but uh, but the wheel the wheel is the wheel looks straight, but it's weird when I brake from the left brake. The the wheel changes axis, so I guess I don't know if it's the the settings of the brake or whatever, but so, something is wrong. So I can't really brake from the left wheel. So it's gonna be a long day. Okay, now I found that my front wheel is not. Um, yeah, now I found that my front wheel is not in the right axis. So I have to dismantle it and try to put it back in the right axis. Kaput! <laughs> kaput! Kaput! Yeah. <laughs> I made it! It seems it's working fine. Wow, one hour to fix the bike. On the day that I have to do more than if I want to reach Bergamo. I have to do I have to do more than 100 kilometers. <laughs> and I lose one hour because I have to repair this bike. I was dead. <laughs> I can't believe I repaired it. It's funny because I <laughs> I never dismantled the the front wheels before today. <laughs> so at least it was very good. I learned how to dismantle my front wheels. Now I know how to do it. Yeah, it's working well. Such a beautiful place! Wow, Lake Lugano! Oh, fantastic! 
I never imagined it would be that beautiful. Now I understand why they talk about the Great Lakes in northern Italy. Wow! It's raining like crazy. No, 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 no. Two days riding in the rain. Well, since I had the problem in Lugano, it's been two hours. It's raining continuously, so <laughs> it's really complicated to do the navigation, to move forward. It's a hard day. I'm sorry, I can't really film. It's complicated. <laughs> oh my god, I hope in the afternoon it stops raining and I can film a little but, uh, but But in front it's all grey so it looks like it's as if the cloud is just following me I don't know, it's like the heavy rain is just on top of me since two hours, it's crazy <laughs> So I am in Italy now and uh, it's in Como it's it's drizzling it's it's it didn't stop raining but uh, it's almost it's very light now oh my god <laughs> what a nightmare today <laughs> it's really a nightmare Villa Alighieri, the man who invented the Italian language Dante Alighieri with his comedia 